Hi hey guys and welcome to the Council of Vapor product overview. Uh, today we'll be featuring our pride and joy, the Aris Atomizer. Uh, this is a drip atomizer. Uh, comes in a box which is very similar if you've already watched the Stratos atomizer. Uh, wood grain graphic with our foil overlay um, featuring the Council of Vapor seal and the Aris, uh, in Aris uh, logo. In any case, we're going to unbox this for you and show you what it's all about. Um, once in the box, you can see here that we have the drip atomizer uh, fully assembled. Um, as you can already see also, uh, comes with its own drip tip. So if you're looking for a glass drip tip, um, you want to pick one up, we already got it in the package for you. Um, another quick set we just wanted to go over before we forget is um, underneath each uh, Aris atomizer, if you take out the foam, um, you'll find a little mini screwdriver a couple extra o-rings we've added that there just for you guys because we know that o-rings can go bad um, sometimes you don't have any uh, screwdriver around um, and we've even packaged some extra screws for you just in case you lose them uh, so we really do want to make sure that you guys have a great time with this atomizer um, that you need or you get what you need you know because um, we've all been down that road where you know you're looking for an o-ring no one has one manufacturer doesn't have one and you just kind of get out of luck with that. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, that didn't happen to you guys. In any case, let's go over to the atomizer. You can see that it has a full glass cap construction. Um, you know, we've designed this atomizer to be, you know, to be a, a work of art. Um, you've got, we've got some little dimples that we've engrooved into the base of the structure uh, that you can see there. Um, some people say it, re it reminds them of you know the old Provari um, dimples that are that are machined into the uh, base plate of their uh, their their um, the, the screw where where you screw the battery in. Sorry. Uh, in any case, um, see here also that the glass cap features a uh, stainless steel upper, uh, which the drip tip actually mates into. Uh, it doesn't mate it. The drip tip doesn't mate into the glass. Uh, here we'll pull off the drip tip for you, and we'll show you if you had a single O-ring um, setup for this one. Uh, but we've made it nice and snug. The tolerances are really close, so that when you've got your drip tip on top of the, the top cap, uh, it's nice and snug. It's not going to really rock back and forth, and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, to continue on, uh, let's open up the the cap from the base right now. Uh, we want to show you some of the different features uh, inside on the inside of the uh, Aris atomizer. Here we go. And once you once you open it up, you can easily see that we've got three posts, or mainly if you want, or four posts if you want to include the center air channel, um, the part that's being pointed to right now, the the main center air channel. That's where your airflow is coming out of. Um, this, this uh, atomizer does feature a, a isolated airflow control system, um, which we've designed and we've developed. Um, so that way, you know, a lot of people were coming to us saying that, hey, you know, my dripper's leaking through an air hole. What can you guys do about it? Well, this is a system that we came up with. Um, we've isolated the juice well, as you can easily, as you can see, it's really deep, 6.6 uh, .6 millimeters to be exact. You can stuff any kind of cotton, silica, wick, anything that you can think of down there um, and load it up with as much juice as you want. It will not drip into the airflow control. Uh, the airflow control is nice and isolated and the, the center channel for the airflow actually is raised up and comes through that middle post um, to, to blow the air onto your coils um, and, and uh, what do you call it, and separate you know, those two functions of the of the atomizer. Um, all the posts in here are, uh, what do you call it, 24 karat gold plated. Um, the negative posts, which you can see on the edge, are actually machined into the base. Um, they will not twist, they will not turn. Uh, you know, so a lot of people, you know, with other atomizers, they've, they've come to us, they said, hey, these, these, these posts are turning. Well, we've done one step better than that. Um, and these, are, these posts are machined into the base. Um, and will not turn or get loose. Um, each post is uh, uh, what do you call it? Is a screw type post uh, with a pass-through hole. 
Uh, you can pass, um, uh, what do you call it, you know, uh, different gauges of your, uh, whatever wire you're using. Um, some people have found that, you know, they've used 24 gauge um, as something that they would recommend for, for uh, what do you call it, building onto here. Uh, we, we definitely agree with that. You know, we recommend the 24 gauge also, um, simply because uh, for, for the types of builds you're going to be doing on here, um, it's going to be nice and smooth for, for that type of setup. Um, using a dual coil setup on here and uh, really, really getting a nice warm flavor when you pass those coils right next to that airflow channel. In any case, um, if, you want, if you look towards the air control ring also, um, this airflow control is adjustable. Um, you simply just turn it. There's a little bit of a grip on the side. Um, and there are two slits, one on each side, uh, which you can size the airflow coming in or in to the uh, atomizer base. And finally, the uh, last, last highlight or last feature of the Aris atomizer that we'd like to go over. Uh, as you can see here on the bottom of the, the atomizer, uh, it is a, there is a, 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 a standard screw pin. Uh, this pin is is also gold plated, um, but it's the also has some added functionality where you can unscrew this uh, in the um, time that you need to maintenance your atomizer. This unscrews um, and releases your middle your middle post or your middle air channel uh, from the atomizer device in case anything happens. Um, you know you can take that out, clean it up, set it back in, and screw it all together. In any case, I uh, want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, don't forget to check it out at your local vape shop. If it's not there, uh, ask them, you know, do they have the Council of Vapor Aris Atomizer? If not, tell them to give us a call. We'll hook them up. And uh, hope you had a good time. Thanks, guys.